Thank you very much. Good evening to everyone. Actually, when um, uh, Mr. Shanti Chopra was mentioning our International Film Festival in Calcutta, I was just wondering, just it reminds me immediately, um, I was a college student at that time, and Calcutta Film Festival always uh, attracts young people, and uh, I want to see a movie. Uh, maybe uh, Mr. Joshua might have seen too. And because we are the same, uh, he's maybe one or two years senior to me at Presidency College. Um, the movie was Soil and Green, Soil and Green. Uh, Charlton Heston is the, the main hero of that movie. It was 1973, and the picture was uh, depicted for uh, 2023 New York City, means 50 years later. And the movie is uh, it's a thrilling movie. It's an unbelievable movie. What the complex society that would be in 2023, and the difficult life, the relationships with men and women, complex life, food security, etc., etc., all kinds of problems in this movie. But ended in a very dramatic way. Charlton Heston would discover something unbelievable. It touched me very much. Now, when I was looking this particular book of uh, Jaydeep Vosredi, 2032, in 2000 years, so again, 30 years span of time, that uh, the world, what is today, the world would be 2032. Particularly, he uh, referred uh, in this book the, our energy crisis. Uh, energy crisis is one thing, but uh, there will be a lot of things. I am <coughs> sure one after another series of his books will come one after another issue uh, uh, in his future books. The energy crisis is a serious problem and, and that has to deal with alternative energy. We need to get an alternative energy. And alternative energy could come from hydrogen um, splitting or it could come from uh, on particle physics and also nuclear fusion uh, sort of uh, activities. Lots of people even today knows it, and uh, they, I'm sure there are a lot of people are working on it. But he took us to a thrilling story where uh, internationally scientific uh, communities or the uh, government uh, definitely would like to see that uh, we should have an alternative energy. The project was set and the people started working. And he set up also, as normally we have a lot of respect for Nobel laureates, he put two Nobel laureates uh, to work or to lead that project. And what happened when 2026, almost they got the discovery. They announced it and then a blast took place in the underground. We are all sitting in the underground room. Now we have Jafar Sharkar and Jayadev both said the important people are here. So be careful, something could happen and then someone has to escape from this story <laughs> to continue this story in future. The book uh, definitely, uh, the blast uh, uh, was shown it very dramatically and almost everybody died. And uh, so the, the database also being lost. But that, who did that blasting? How did that happen? Why that should that happen? That's a question, lots of theory was going on. But definitely somebody did it. It may not be an accident. It could be an accident. But definitely it later on found out it's not an accident, it was done, deliberately done. Somebody did it. Maybe, lots of people who have interest uh, that don't like this uh, clean energy, renewable energy, so that uh, the society or the corrupted society or the corrupted uh, corporate system that uh, control the petrol uh, deals, uh, they might have done it. I'm not telling this whole story, you have to read it. It's a very thrilling story, you have to read the book and enjoy it. Now, this, then later on, it, it found that uh, somebody escaped from that uh, sort of blast who knows the discovery and somebody is also guiding, that is Alec, Alice Mercer. <coughs> this is the guy, along with 
What is the name of the lady? Elon. Dr. Eleanor Bassett. Eleanor Bassett is not none but her daughter of uh, the, one of the Nobel laureate uh, nuclear physicists uh, who was the leader of the project. Now, because they escaped and they know the know-how of the system, obviously, then the journey of this thrilling uh, sort of spying and kind of uh, um, traveling, it started. It shows from Switzerland to Italy, Italy to Mexico, to Brazil, and finally to US. And when all these countries are involved, definitely you can imagine when it comes to USA, um, CIA, FBI. <laughs> I think he got all possible things that uh, in, in the art or in the world available. He included everything. And I do not know how he put some of the international um, research organization. I was trying to first to know exactly what does it happen, that sort of institutions do exist, I-I-T-E-R, etc., etc., SORS, C-E-R-N, etc. I could not find, I know lots of organizations that uh, do fund research, do fund uh, kind of uh, scientific uh, uh, studies, but I could not find any one of them. But he connected all of these organizations in a very befitting manner, so that uh, when NASA uh, launched a mission to get the uh, particle physics or black material that would be utilized for the fusion uh, purpose, and NASA got it and got it back, and immediately he put it in a, one of the funding agencies and, and put it in the source, immediately the people started working. So every one of the different worldwide agency and the, and the people who could be actively involved, they got all involved in this particular story. So definitely when they wanted to kill these two person, the main hero, Alice, uh, Alec uh, Mercer and, and Bassett, Miss Bassett, these two people, and it was, again it was found that some of the other people, Sasa, one is the lady Sasa, they are not a single agent, they are double agent, they are triple agent, so there is <laughs> much more complications is coming up. It is very difficult who is working for whom. So I, I first read, I thought something I missed it, and then I read it again. I'm trying to get, uh, the, I now I'll, I'll keep this person separately, and I could not find it. <laughs> and I got in a kind of a spider web, and I'm moving around, and he's moving the audience. You people, when you read it, you will find out that uh, you have to move around and trying to figure out exactly who is running behind and who is mobilizing what. It's an interesting story. I, 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 I think that um, Jadev uh, really you, he made a brilliantly kept uh, the secrecy of this entire story and with the science puzzles. Lots of interesting science he narrated in a very interesting way. Uh, even you don't need to be a nuclear physicist, you can understand it. Uh, because he, he made you believe that this is the only thing needed. It may not be needed at all, but he would make you believe that it is needed. And that is the way the things uh, would make that story uh, interesting. I think one thing I, I, I just, uh, before ending, I would like to say, I think when I uh, wanted to know actually how, what is his age, and, and while talking with him, I realized that he's a very young fellow. And when he said, I asked him even directly, that how old are you? He said, 19. I just couldn't believe that. So I thought uh, Tego wrote uh, many books at the age of 13, 14, and he, uh, he's one of the biggest or rather puzzling book that uh, talent of uh, Balmiki. He wrote in 14, at the age of 14. But many people in Bengal, they wrote a lot of books at the young age, literature. But the science fiction and, the, and this thrilling story, we always dream about it, we always think about it. But to put up in a book and to keep everything connected, this is outstanding. I, I congratulate you and, and really wish you that uh, you, you come out with uh, great things. The last point that I would like to say that all uh, good things that have some sort of uh, sad story, 
as one of the saying that uh, when we were young, we used to know that uh, our sweetest songs are those that tell of us saddest thoughts. So there are some sacrifice in this book. Someone has to sacrifice it. But still the book ended with a high value, ethics, science will prevail against the corruption, against the, all the odd and wrong things, and that touched me very much. Thank you very much, and giving this opportunity to